Hello all, this is Tarun. Today I am going to show you the three effective ways to color correct a rotor pen node. This is my footage. I am creating rotor pen node by using shortcut P. Let's click on the clone tool here. I am sampling this area and I am going to paint here. Okay. Now I am going to color correct my rotor pen node using hue shift. See when you rotate your hue, it's shifting the color values on the entire frame. So double click on the rotor pen node and I am pressing A to be the alpha. Here in the pre-multiply, change the mode to alpha. Now you got the alpha in painted area. Ok now connect the mask pipe to rotor pen node. Now when you rotate your hue, it's affecting only the painted area. And I am adjusting the saturation and the brightness to match the red. Actually it's not perfect but it's fine for tutorial purpose. Ok now I have color corrected my rotor pen node. Now moving on to the second method. I am copying the same rotor pen node. And I am revert back the pre multiply to default as none. Also I am copying my hue shift node. In rotor pen node just click on this small arrow. And in output mask, click on new and create a new channel. Actually the channel name should be like this. Um, because when you create a channel name without the period symbol, it will show you an error. Actually the what the period symbol represent is, um, the name before the period is a layer name. And the name after the period symbol is the channel name like uh, red, green, blue, alpha, uv, like that. Okay, hit ok. Okay, now it's asking for create new layer hue shift. Click yes. Now come the hue shift to paint node. In mask, select the hue shift dot which you have created now. See now it's affecting the painted area alone. I am comparing both of these methods. See there is no difference between these two. Ok now let's move on to the third method. I see most of the artists are using different node to extract the alpha by adjusting the gain. I am copying my hue shift node. I am copying my hue shift node and connecting the mask input to difference node. See there is, see there is black lines around the painted area. I am adjusting the gain to get rid of this black line. When I drop the gain to below 100, see it's cut off the whole alpha. That's why it's turning back to blue. Now when you compare these two, see there is a dark lines around the painted area. Usually I don't use this method. I prefer to use this first method. Sometimes I use this second method depending on the complexity of the script. I hope you have learned something useful in this video. Thanks for watching.